All right, boys, what's up? It's your boy 12 inch out here coming at you with another farms out video. You guys may notice that I am on the floor and you guys may notice the setup is weird. My computer actually broke right before the recording of this video. So I am on a laptop. Shout out to my friend for letting me borrow her laptop because if not, you guys would not have a video. So anyway, we're gonna go get, right now I'm buying my, my main computer, but all the parts are not in. So <laughs> we, we are trying to make this work, trying to make this work. But you know, obviously this is not the, uh, not the quality you guys are used to or the quality I'm used to. Logging onto a new thing, I had to log in like three separate times. It kept on making me restart the game. Anyway. We're gonna try and get through this, answer the questions as best as I possibly can. So, you know, if it's a little lower quality, guys, I'm super duper sorry. I did see somebody, somebody ask outside of the questions. They were like, oh, like your, your resources are kind of low. Why do you only gather like level five and below nodes or something like that? I, sometimes I log on like a few times a day. Sometimes I don't. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I think the resources are like kind of decent. But you also have to remember, this is like my, my weakest of all farms. Also, apparently um, the water cooler on my, my computer, apparently those water coolers where you can't put in like liquid over and over again, they dry out after a while so my water cooler just has no cooling so just kind of a shock that it lasted as long as it did my computer may not actually be in that bad of condition depending on how we get it fixed so i might have a computer and a backup computer which would be kind of lit in case i can do any other things first question is coming from piggy 1222 outside of chaining for three to four hours a day do you spend time to clear your ap by five marching or logging onto your farms i don't five march anymore i remember there was a point where i was five marching on my farms or like trying to do forts on them and while it's really good for resources and really good for speeds, it's just not something I could stomach. I was completely burned out every time I tried it. Um, it just wasn't, it was not for me. For some people, they can get through it. Some people even do events on their accounts. And if you can stomach it, it's really, really good. The reason why I was five marching or doing forts is just as is just because I was trying to get to level 40 or level 60 on a lot of my farming commanders. And so now that I'm done with that, then, you know, there's much less of a reason for me to. Now, if you're bringing your accounts into Lost Kingdom, doing forts there is a different story because it's a lot easier to do forts there. It's a lot easier to do barbs there as well. And then, you know, once you're done with that, you know, you're getting much bigger rewards for much less time investment. So if you can bring your guys into Lost Kingdom, then, you know, it's it's better, I would say. Next question is from Samis Choblade 886 12. Any update on KDK1 commanders? I'm focusing on Bjorn and Sun at the moment. Please notice me. I see a couple comments under this, I mean, the guy's saying, please be or still Bjorn, Son of Joan, you can consider Baybars for Athmina, Amoteps is also cool if you want to try running that. Okay, cool. Yeah, I would say in terms of KVK1, you can always try, like, Baybars and Sun Tzu is also not a bad combo. Like, if you're running an infantry, and a, if you're just running one cav instead of an infantry and a cav, running the Baybars Sun Tzu, I've seen it work really well for a couple of people. Because Sun Tzu is just a really, really strong commander. If you look at his stuff, you know, his third skill is the only skill that really needs infantry, and even that's only 10% health. So I wouldn't really concern yourself too much on losing a lot of value and just you know if you're running cav you know you can make a cav work if you're running imp you can make an imp work i would just focus on running like one maybe two marches like if in doubt just make sure you're consolidating your overall gear and sculptures the next question is coming from zkx 2417 we answered his question yesterday and he asks Hey, when I asked about getting Shahar for barbs, I didn't mean because she has AoE. I meant because she has healing. You may have misunderstood me, so I shouldn't get her because I can just do Nevsky YSG, Richard ZL. I'm only willing to get her for healing and tank, not for her AoE. Oh, if she's just a, a healing or tank commander, I generally wouldn't. I don't think there's, there's a huge reason to. Just for the same reason that most people wouldn't get Xena, you know, most people probably shouldn't get her. Now, if you're going to invest in her in the future, then, I mean, it's probably okay to pick up a 5 one, one, one. It just depends on how much that would delay your other commanders. Like, if I... If, if, 60 sculpts is not going to hurt like anything in the grand scheme of things and picking her up is fine especially if you plan to get that archer march later if you're on the fence about getting that archer march i probably would not pick her up just for the tank though um, i don't think it makes a ton of sense it might save some time i don't know if it's going to save enough time to pay for her but if you're going to invest in her anyway then you may as well start the next question is coming from sunshine p3j i just finished kvk1 i have sun Tzu and ysg expertise by the second wheel i'm thinking about running a second march for kvk2 which is bay bars plus ethel fled is it a good idea or should i keep working on my infantry set current infantry set is hope cloak set home oh we have a good we have we have a good set okay this is this is like an experienced player uh hope cloak set home set boots carax humility brutality and Keeper shield i spend around 30 to 50 dollars a month not much making a bay bars ethel flood is a it's probably a decent idea. I mean, like right now, I would say it depends on where your, your research is at more than anything. So I would say like if you have uh, like Woot, Seal, and Scudum like almost max because you're looking to T5 those first, then I'd probably focus more on your infantry gear and kind of call it a day. Consolidating is never really the wrong answer. I would say like expanding your marches is a good idea if 
if you have like too many resources and speeds when usually like early game doesn't really have that problem another thing is the types of gear you can get like you're going to have to get the cab boots and you're gonna have to get the cab chest i don't know if you can afford those in blueprints right now whereas getting whereas getting like imp boots and imp gloves is something you're gonna have to get on top of what you already have by the time you get to lc anyway so on one hand like you can't really go wrong with building like a cavalry set and going with bay bars and ethel like it's not it can't it's not a bad idea in practice it just depends on how many resources and speeds you have like going wide only works if you have a, a lot of extra if you don't have any extra then i just focus on the infantry this the safe bet is focus on the infantry as well if you're not comfortable with the answer you're like oh like i don't know how much is a lot or like i don't know how much is this or that if you don't have like especially this is a really good idea for like for like people who need coaching by the way because this would be like an account specific type of advice um i would say uh consolidating is probably a good idea but i mean running a second march isn't a bad idea in general it just depends on your blueprints and gems and you know your overall spending the next question is coming from adrian and he says what gear do you use on your chaining marches and what is the minimum requirement generally i would say the minimum requirements for a chaining march is just to run all of the like green barbarian damage gear and the purple barbarian damage gear so if it's infantry there's gonna be a lot more purple if it's cav it's gonna be a lot more green and that's about it i mean really i just use like my full actual combat gear on my chaining marches so my zl herman is just going to use my regular archer gear my richard ysg is going to use my my regular infantry gear my martel theodora is going to use my second set of infantry gear my qb uh uses his own gear and then the the chow chow uses my secondary cap gear so at one point i had like everybody had their own specific sets of gear but as i just got like full gear sets for everybody i just dismantled all my barb gear and just run the actual normal gear and i think the barb gear might be a little bit better but the amount of materials that you have to keep in there is probably not worth it overall anyway guys that's gonna be all the farms and all the questions for today if you guys enjoyed this type of content please drop a like a follow consider subscribing if you guys want to help support the channel please donate to the streamlabs link in the description below or else we'll be homeless like this forever but uh, and if you guys are looking for coaching like some of these questions might require like a deeper look into your account again it's 35 bucks a session for an on stream and 75 bucks a session for an off stream you go to the discord in the description below and you make a ticket about it other than that guys have yourselves an absolutely wonderful day thank you so much for dropping by and i will see you guys hopefully at my actual pc tomorrow but we might still be here so bye